Hey everyone, this is Nemo and welcome to another awesome video tutorial. So today we're going to add a useful flag to orders with returned products in 30Bs and PrestaShop. And um, you can see here on my right hand side, I have an order with a check mark under this return column here. Well, others have crosses because of course we didn't return any product for them. Neat. So before starting, actually, I'm going to use 30Bs for the demo, but of course, the same process applies to PrestaShop 1.6 as well. So if you're a PrestaShop user, you can follow along without worrying. All right, enough chit chatting, let's get to it. So to add the column, we only have to edit one file, admin orders controller.php. So I will find it in controllers, admin, and I will open it up here in my code editor. So the process itself is a little tricky here because we cannot add the new element to the table without a corresponding column in the database. So to start with, we will add a dummy value. So first off, I will join a new table and I'm going to copy this part to be faster. So the table is order detail alias OD on OD ID order equals A ID order. Now I need to grab that dummy value in my select. So I will scroll up here and add it, say, after the OS color. So OD dot product quantity return as has return. And uh, we can use any, well, we can grab any column here, but I'm just going to use this one since it's the most meaningful. Always remember to add a comma, otherwise you're going to break the query. Before I forget and before continuing, we need to group these results. Otherwise, since we added this new column here, it's going to create duplicates. So this underscore group is going to be group by a dot id order. Save. Good. Now the actual column. I'm going to append it to fields list, which is the array listing all of the headers for the orders table. So it's around line uh, 150, um, right before the id pdf, which is right here. I will copy this date add field and paste it back in. So I'm going to call it has returned since this one needs to have the same name of the alias we chose before. And the uh, table header is going to be return. A line is going to be text center. Type is going to be a boolean. It's not going to have a filter key, but it's going to have a callback. So I'll copy it from here. And uh, actually, let me show you what happens if I don't add the callback and save. It's just going to grab the first value it finds. Sorry, this is press shop. It's just going to grab the first value it finds in the order details. So it's not exactly meaningful, not always precise. It's correct in this case, but this is just a coincidence. So I will add my callback now, and it's going to be get is pre. Turn. All right, save again. So whenever we have a callback for these fields, the second element always represents a single order item. So if, if I go back and add it now, public function get is return. So the first value, as I said, is not meaningful. The second one is going to represent an actual order in the list. And inside it, I'm going to check if this order has returned product. So db get instance get value. And inside it, first let me make sure that I have word wrapping since I don't want to go off screen. So I'm going to select product quantity return again from db prefix order 
detail and since I have the order ID I want to pass it in so where ID order equals and we're gonna typecast here so integer value of order ID order Oops. we also want to check that this um, product quantity return is one or at least uh, more than zero because otherwise we will have a value um, in any case anything it returns so I'm gonna add another condition and it's gonna be add product quantity return is more than zero so if this returns something if this query returns something we know that it has return products we just call this in a more meaningful way all right seems good so next up if this returns something I'm gonna create an icon the, the fancy icon we just saw so I'm gonna give it a class which is gonna change based on the result so if has returned then the class is gonna be icon check otherwise it's gonna be icon remove pretty easy and as a very last step return the actual HTML so I which stands for icon class class and of course it's gonna be an empty item all right let's see if I did any mistake refresh okay it seems um, everything was correct you can see this order has return products at least one so I will just click to see and you can see this one has been returned cool all right this is everything for today's video I hope you found it useful and if you did you can subscribe to the channel and follow the blog at nemops.com to always get the latest tutorials and tips thanks for watching I will see you next time